Tech Garage, presented by Advance Auto Parts, is being brought to you by McGuire's since 1901. Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM for radio since 1977. And by Advance Auto Parts, let's get you back on the road. Perfect, got it bench bled. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by Advance Auto Parts. Brian, I got this one all bench bled for you. Perfect, thanks, I'm gonna get it installed. Can I get that one? Yeah. Perfect, all right, well we got the old master cylinder off. Now you can see, you can get a couple of options. You can get one with just a cylinder body, or we actually chose the wherever, the complete master cylinder itself. Now what's that bench bleeding all about? Well, I actually have it right here located in the vise. And what we're doing is we're gonna try to remove all the air from the inside of the master cylinder so we don't shove it down the body or the system all the way through the car and it'll make bleeding easier a little bit later. It's a real simple process. I'm just gonna take some brake fluid here. Now make sure you use the right brake fluid. There's dot three, four, five, and even 5.1. Now dot three, four, and 5.1 are glycol based. Dot five is silicone based. We're gonna use our dot three. The higher the number, the higher the boiling point. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up here. I went down to advance and I got me a bleeder kit right here. You can see it. Nothing more than some hoses and some fittings. I put it into the master cylinder and then I put my lines up there and I submerged them. Why? So as I'm purging that, the air's going back up into the system and I'm getting rid of it. You can actually see the bubbles in there. Now you wanna throw a couple of big strokes and some small ones. And you can see actually how hard it is. You remember earlier with that brake booster? Boy, it gave us a lot of driver assist. So I'm pushing it in there, I'm bleeding it. Now once all the air bubbles are gone, then it's pretty well bench bled. Now what's going on inside of there? This is pretty cool. I got a cutaway right here and you can actually see it. Inside the master cylinder, you got a couple of pistons. You got a primary piston and you got a secondary piston. Now on those pistons, you have a couple of seals, a primary seal, primary seal. So this is the primary seal, secondary piston, primary seal, primary piston. Well, what's that all about? Well, it pressurizes these two chambers. That's how you get the actual hydraulics we showed you earlier pressured down to the wheel brakes. As I pressurize it, I'm gonna get all the air out of here and bench bleed it. But you also have secondary seals. Here's the secondary seal for the secondary piston and the secondary seal for the primary piston, it's the one located in the back. If you ever have any brake fluid uh, leaking down your booster, it's usually the secondary seal on the primary piston. Now our Impala, what's going on? We're putting the brakes to the floor, it's slowly dropping. Well check this out right here. These primary pistons are bleeding by internally. So what happens when we're holding that pressure, the internal pressure is going from this high pressure chamber over this lip seal into the low pressure chamber and the pedal slowly dropping to the floor. Now Brian's over there installing the master cylinder. I'm sure he's in good shape and I'm pretty sure this is gonna go ahead and fix our Impala. Let's see how he's coming. All right, just topping off the master cylinder here after the bleed. The reservoir is exactly where it's supposed to be. We're going to get that button back up. Now, here's a couple good wrenching practices for you when you're replacing a master cylinder. When you remount it to the firewall, leave those nuts a little bit loose and give yourself some slack on the master cylinder so you can get these brake lines appropriately and properly reconnected. You don't want to have any chance of cross-threading or the flare that's on the end of them, any imperfections happening to that. You've got to get a good seal so it won't leak. Now the other thing that comes up is when you've got perfectly matching brake lines like these, you may want to make a note, either label them or take a digital picture before you disassemble it so you know which line goes into which port on your new master cylinder. Now some vehicles have different size ports and it's obvious, but you want to make sure you get that part of it right. So we've bled the system. Now imagine the amount of work if John hadn't bench bled it and all the air that would have been in that master cylinder we didn't have to worry about. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead. We got our chief tech in there. Chase, give it a pump. Let's see how it feels. The brake pedal is good and hard, John. We're good to go. Brian, you got it whooped, man. That pedal's hard, no leaks. We're in good shape. That's awesome. I'm going to get the air box reinstalled and we're good to go. Well, get warmed up with your imagination because after break, we're going to come back with our project, RSX Resurrection. We'll be right back with more Tech Garage presented by Advanced Auto Parts.